Good morning. I am uh, Dr. Santosh Kumar, consultant uh, neurologist at Koshia Hospital, Ramurthy Nagar. Today we will be talking about uh, migraine. As you all know, migraine is a disorder of headache. Everybody suffers headache, but migraine is a type of headache which is quite recurrent and which is usually long term. As far as the disability of migraine is concerned, about 15% of the population in the world suffer from migraine at any point of time and almost about uh, migraine is the third most important cause for disability associated with headache. Now there are different types of headache. We usually classify a headache into two types. The primary headache and the secondary headache. The primary headache are those things where there is no definitive cause for the pain inside the head. The categories that come under it are migraine, common migraine, classical migraine, cluster headache, tension type of headaches and few other types. But the secondary headaches are the one which have a cause inside the head some causes which causes headache or the conditions which causes raised intracranial tension like subarachnoid hemorrhage that's bleeding inside the brain, brain tumors, meningitis and few other causes normal pressure hydrocephalus and few other conditions which causes secondary headache. So today we are dealing with primary headache and among them we are dealing with migraine. So migraine is a condition which is characterized by recurrent headaches of moderate to severe intensity and usually the patient is associated with photophobia, phonophobia, distaste to smell and some sort of an avergence and he prefers to stay in dark without any sort of stimulus. Now uh, as we all know that migraine starts somewhere around puberty and uh, there is some amount of hormonal involvement in uh, migraine. Uh, migraine is more common in boys before puberty but after puberty the girls tend to get more migraine than boys and usually it will be a long term disorder and there may be a temporary decrease in the frequency during pregnancy and lactation but again most of the time it will be a long term disorder. The causes for migraine are both environmental as well as genetic there were some genetic factors which are described and there are some migraines which are genetically linked particularly conditions called cadacil and familial hemiplegic migraine but those are not very common types so the most common cause for migraine is actually environmental factors stress, lack of sleep and certain sort of food are also known to precipitate migraine attack particularly tyramine which is present in cheese, processed meat, alcoholic beverages and also monosodium glutamate which is used in some form of preservative industries these are known to trigger migraine attacks so migraine is usually of two types one is a migraine with aura and migraine without aura and uh, most of the type of migraines are migraine without aura aura is a condition wherein the person will get to know migraine before the onset of headache and this aura usually is in the form of visual complaints in the form of uh, a blurring of vision starting from one side of the head, visual field and gradually covering the other side or it is in the form of the scintillating lights or zigzag lines in the visual field or it is in the form of the fortification as if uh, the person has to see through a fortress wall so this also on the visual complaints so what to do when person is suffering from migraine understand that you have a disease and that there is a solution for that and migraine, there are two types of treatment. One is the preventive treatment, that is we take some medications to prevent migraine from coming again and again. The other type is wherein you take medications only to decrease the headache, only to decrease the migraine. So the preventive top sort of uh, treatment or a few group of drugs, particularly uh, uh, beta blockers and uh, tricyclic antidepressants and uh, clonorazine and uh, topiramate, sodium valproate, these are some of the group of drugs which are used to prevent headache from coming again and again and there are some sort of treatment which is used only when headache comes these drugs are usually simple analgesics like paracetamol or ibuprofen or naproxen sodium 
or your simple cafe in your cup of coffee all these things are uh, you known to decrease migraine now there are certain uh, little bit uh, uncommon types of migraine which are called as basal atrial migraine which we will not go into detail some of the migraines are associated with periods they are called as catamenial migraine and in some sort of children they manifest as childhood periodic syndromes in the form of abdominal migraine or cyclic vomiting syndromes so to prevent migraines you basically have a good lifestyle have good diet patterns and exercise regularly exercise is known to decrease the migraine frequency and have good hours of sleep particularly 8 hours of sleep is a must for any person who is suffering from migraine so uh, to sum up migraine is a common disorder affects most of the population and with proper lifestyle and proper consultation with your doctors you can definitely control migraine and lead a fruitful life thank you very much and merry christmas